Broadcasting live worldwide. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Question. How long do you wait before you just say to yourself, I've got to get a haircut? How long do you wait for that hair to get so long that it literally just starts to crawl around your ear or just starts hitting you in places that you just do not enjoy? That's what happened to me. I couldn't take it anymore. I went a month without getting a haircut. How long does it take for you to get a haircut before you or before you just start to say, oh my God, it's time to cut it? Let's talk about haircuts. Never done it before. Have faith, let it begin. Throwback Thursday, fun times, and it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. Let it begin. No, no. no? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Caitlin. Oh, oh, amazing. Just those <laughs> <laughs> Noah. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday to you on this July 14th, 2022. Yeah, uh, guys, I am so happy to tell you that I put my headset on this morning and I felt so clean because my hair was so long. Big shout outs to Stephanie for cutting my hair. She is the best. And uh, let me tell you, there's nothing worse, nothing worse than having a long hair. Meaning, when I say long hair, longer than you know usual. Uh, I remember... I used to get my hair cut almost every two weeks when I was in my 20s and 30s. Now, you know, with inflation and things are just crazy, it, you, you can almost go almost three weeks, you know? Well, unfortunately for me, I went a month. Uh, why? Because, well, my hairstylist was away. So, you know, hey, she deserves a break. And uh, quite honestly, I just had too much on our plate. With everything breaking down and things happening, you just say, well, the heck with it. It's not like I'm going out anytime soon. Just put a lot of gel. That's another thing, by the way. You know, when you start getting your hair, it starts getting to the point where it's out of control. Gel becomes your best friend. I mean, I use a little bit. uh, But when you have long hair and you need to put it in spots behind the ear and make sure it doesn't stick up or you've got those nasty cowlicks. Yeah, gel becomes your best friend. Now, many of you may not have a lot of hair. Maybe you're bald. And that's cool. I wish sometimes I could go bald. I really do. Because then uh, I don't have have much to do other than maybe just put lotion up there. But, you know what? It is what it is. So, you know, this is a quick, uh, funny uh, story. Um, I remember uh, being out of state and going to uh, try to find a barber trying to find a hairstylist you know that's another thing you know about hair is that uh when you're growing up and you finally get that hairstylist or you know that barber that you like um all of a sudden the person either leaves or retires and now you got to find somebody else or you know let's face facts sometimes you need a haircut you need it in a timely fashion and they're booked so you have to that's what we call we have to cheat on our barbers with the cheat on our hairstylists you have to go somewhere else and I remember doing uh, just that. But mine was a different story. I was away uh, for business and I was in a different state. And, you know, where do you go? Like, where do you go to get a haircut? So I went and I did a no-no. Um, I hate to name drop. I really do, guys. But I got, I got to because I got to be, you know, I don't know. I went to a super cuts, okay? And... I thought, I'd never been to one of those places, but I thought that the name went, you get a super cut. They literally chopped all my hair off. I remember saying I wanted a fade. And their idea of a fade was chopping off and giving me a crew cut. Uh, I was sitting in that chair and they started to cut my hair and the damage was done in one, one swoop. And I'm just sitting there going, Oh my God, they just gave me a crew cut. And uh, the person thought I was in the military. And I'm thinking to myself, there's nothing about the way I appear that looks 
like I am in the military, meaning I was not in shape. Unless they thought maybe I was going into the army and was getting a pre-cut, then I could understand. But anyway, I I really couldn't complain because I got a military discount and they never asked for a military ID. I literally just stood in the mirror for like hours saying to myself, holy cow, what do I do with this? And uh, thank God for hats because I wore that for a couple weeks. Uh, but you know, listen, it's hair. It all grows back, right? When you're in your 20s. It is what it is. So the other story is uh, I decided not to go back to that place. So I started looking around and I found this uh, older gentleman, a mom and pop shop. Uh, and I went in there and he started to cut my hair. And it, the, the haircut was coming out really, really good. And then all of a sudden um, he pulls my, my seat back. And I'm thinking, what could he possibly be doing? And I hear, I'm like, and then I hear this scraping, this interesting, and I'm like, what is that? What could be possibly be doing right now behind me? And then all of a sudden I felt this warm sensation on my right cheek down to my chin, all the way around, and I look up, and it's like what appears to be a warm shaving cream. Now, let me just pause for a second. Guys, I have, I just didn't grow hair, facial hair, for a very long time. Um, I didn't start shaving until I was about 26 years old. So here I am in my 20s, early 20s, 23, 24, and this dude decides that he was going to give me a shave. And I'm literally thinking to myself, what could you possibly be cutting? I mean, he did the sideburns and they were awesome. But he was scraping in the background a razor against this leather strap. And I'm thinking, that can't be good. My problem is I watch too many movies. So I'm thinking, I'm going to get whacked. I can see it now, you know. Gentleman from upstate New York goes down while getting a haircut, but looks good. Yeah, that, that's everything that I was thinking about the entire time. So, needless to say that the haircut came out great. The barber uh, charged me a lot cheaper than Supercuts. And very nice gentleman. But I didn't go back to him either. <laughs> I was just too scared. So, listen, where do, we, where do we have a message here, right? There's a message somewhere, right? You guys are waiting to say, what is Angel going to pull out? How is he going to pull out a message here? The thing is this, you know, we all sometimes worry about our appearance. We want to make sure we look good, we smell good, we look and act the part, right? Um, I remember um, an incident a long time ago where somebody had said to me, I had spent some money on really expensive clothing. I thought that I, I wanted to look the part. And somebody saw me, they hadn't seen me in a while, and they said, wow, you look different. Uh, you're, you've got a whole new different type of uh, swagger. And and then, and I remember saying, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a manager now. I, I you know, gotta got to look the part. And they say, well, I like the old part. I like the old you. I liked who you were with the other clothing. The clothing doesn't make the person. Uh, You make the person. And it made me realize that you should never change or be somebody different. In my early 20s, I had so many different angels come into my life. So many people that gave me such great advice that when I talk about getting a haircut and looking good and acting and dressing the part, Always remember that, yes, a haircut can make us look great. It can make us feel good. But never forget who you are inside. Because whatever's on the outside means nothing. It's what's inside that truly counts. Believe in yourself. Believe in others. Respect and understand that God has created you in his image. You have a heart of gold. You have a heart inside of you. Allow that heart to blossom, to grow, And allow others to see you 
in the light and in the vision that God intended you to be. And that's today's message. Hope you get a haircut. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith. Let it begin. Haircut time for anybody. (laughs) Bye. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>